This cocktail today is a tiki inspired cocktail. Uh, we're doing a uh, rhubarb rum runner. And it's uh, got two kinds of rum and some uh, liqueurs from Ironworks. We're doing uh, raspberry and rhubarb. Rum running, of course, is a Nova Scotia tradition back in the Prohibition days, so I thought it'd be fun to, to run with. Uh, my research uh, led it to be like a tiki inspired drink, so I'm more of a tropical flavored drink, and it'll have like banana flavors and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to go a little simpler and make it a little, uh, a little more refreshing, a less sugary, uh, and easy to sip, or, you know. This is a, usually inspired as, like I said, tiki style, so sometimes it's a blender drink. A lot of folks will see it as a blender. So what I'm gonna do is ice up my shaker first, get it about half full, and we're gonna start with our rum, base it that way. So this one is a half ounce dark rum, half ounce of amber rum, and we're gonna go with a full ounce of liqueurs. This is the rhubarb here. There. And a full ounce of the raspberry. Oh yeah, love the raspberry. There we go. Now this is because it's a little sweet, we're also gonna add a little lemon, a little citrus, one ounce, freshly squeezed, to cut some of the sugars. Because I'm going to be adding some grenadine as well, uh, house-made grenadine. So I'm going to give about an ounce and a half here. So this will give it a little tropical, made with pomegranate. So get a little of its tropical taste. An ounce and a half. And now the fun part. We're going to shake this bad boy. Make sure you form a tight seal. You don't want to send this uh, flying in at anyone's face. We got a nice, nice coating of chill ice on the outside. We take our pre-chilled glass here. We're gonna strain this out. Nice pretty color. And our garnish. 